If you've ever watched a K-drama, for those of you not in the know, that's a Korean drama where everything is about corporate takeover, love, or food. Occasionally, there is a period piece that requires some level of historical accuracy. And chances are, some of those scenes were filmed in this very well-preserved 19th century village. I'm going to point out some of the unique details about this village that I think you may find interesting. Fearless! Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're visiting Sungjuk Folk Village on Jeju Island, South Korea. As we enter the main entrance right away, you'll notice the stone walls. These helped keep out Japanese invaders and they're constructed of lava rock from the island. This island is littered in volcano rock produced by Halasan Volcano. This village is located at the foot of Hala Mountain. Formed in the 19th century, this village is somewhat different than a museum as people still live here to this day. Okay, let's focus our attention now to the thatched roof villas. Notice the straw is latched down with ropes to keep the roof at bay as Jeju Island can be very windy. The villagers spin the straw to make ropes themselves. Those rock statues in the background can be found all over Jeju Island and are said to bring good luck. Just rub them on the ears. Jeju is known for its deliciously sweet tangerines. The volcanic soil provides ideal growing conditions. 95% of Korean tangerines are grown and harvested right here on Jeju Island. These villagers also grow abundant crops that help sustain their day-to-day -day life, such as daikon radishes, green tea, and honey. Can you guess what the hut walls are made of? Bet, lava rock. These fields of flowing yellow blossom flowers are that of the rape flower. Rape flowers produce rapeseed oil, which is then modified into canola oil. Some people just refer to these as canola flowers. It's typical that these villas or huts don't have a door or even a locked gate. Wooden sticks are placed at the entry to each house. One wooden stick represents the owner is out working the field, and if called loud enough, he can return. Two wooden sticks indicate the owner is working outside and will not come home until later that evening. Three sticks let visitors know the owner has gone on a long journey. Four sticks represents a widow's house. And well, if there's no wooden stick across the door, it means there's someone home. All right, so we were having inclement weather that day. So the next series of videos were captured at a different folk village just down the road, but they represent similar functions of that at Sungju. Now this lady is explaining how horse bone powder is made. The large grindstone in this hut is used to pulverize the bone of the horse and it's further ground using that huge mortise and pestle. Horses were brought to Jeju Island by Mongolian invaders in the 13th century. You can purchase horse bone pills made from this very horse bone powder at the local store. It's said to be rich in essential amino and fatty acids that promote bone density. Now watch out for this guard dog. Just kidding, looks a little friendly. This trip wouldn't be complete without the infamous Jeju black pig. This Korean breed of domestic pig is said to produce the most flavorful pork. Did you know that these pigs were once used as toilet cleaners? Referred to as toilet pigs, these pigs were housed in dugouts under the outhouses and consumed the waste. Thankfully, their diet has changed over the years. We know Koreans love their pork belly. I hope you enjoyed this content, and if I earned your viewership, consider subscribing to the channel. 